ಮೇದಿನಿ ವಿಶ್ವ ವಿನೋದಿನಿ ನಂದಿನುತೆ ಶ್ರೀವರವಿಂದ್ಯ ಶಿರೋದಿನಿ ವಾಸಿನಿ ವಿಷ್ಣು ವಿಲಾಸಿನಿ ಜೇಷ್ಣು Uh, so when they grow up in these things they have nothing to be proud of there's a void in their hearts it's going to be replaced by something human beings genetically cannot live without religion something or the other will always have the place of of god in their hearts and minds that will be either their inner conscience for people who say they are spiritual not religious it abs- means absolutely nothing if you are if you are a hindu the, or or karl marx or someone else someone or the other will be your god something or the other will be your religion and it's just not hinduism for most uh, urban folk in in kolkata insane amount of degradation of human intelligence and iq everything and all that happens because of low economic prosperity okay see ritik ghatok said this uh, he's a famous bengali director film director he said they had this famous line that uh, think practice thinking and everyone just use that as a cool phrase to use because you see mankind humans in general will always treat something or the other like a religion treat someone as the other as a god and will treat something as, as or the other as just a meaningless chant and not internalize the phrase and think about it really deeply let's say you do the shivashtotra satanamavali every day okay if you don't visualize every name of lord shiva when you are doing that it's 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 not going to be that beneficial you have to internalize each and every name the concept behind each and every na- every name visualize that imagine that picture that okay anyone who says that visualization does not does not uh, bring good effects ha- has absolutely probably never never played a sport or has never achieved success in something because anyone who is successful in in, in anything will tell you that they have visualized them themselves as being successful in that particular field from since when they were kids or or for about 5 6 years before they actually achieved success in that so visualization absolutely give, brings you benefits so when you are doing a, a mantra jap you are absolutely supposed to think and visualize about that as well any word that does have meaning like in shivashtotra satanamavali for chanting those things you have to, absolutely have to visualize those words as well but what bengalis did with with ritik ghatok is the same thing done by a hindu who just chants the shivashtotra satanamavali meaninglessly without conceptualizing those things which is they then decided that ritik ghatok is our god and this is our our devotee chant that bhabo bhaba practice karo okay think practice thinking even though they never fucking thought anything themselves how can someone think and think for 30 and 40 years know the history of 1991 how soviet union crashed and then come up with the idea that yes communism is a great fucking thing socialism is great they have posters of stalin in their party offices which means they have absolutely not thought about any fucking thing in 30 years okay but all of them are big fans of ritik ghatok because ritik ghatok was a marxist himself which means they just treated ritik ghatok like a like an uh, unquestionable jiska beej mantra hai think practice thinking okay now keep chanting that without actually thinking jay jay he mahishasura mardini ramya kapardini jay lagu <laughs>